Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So it's finally time to start making progress on more of the game's storyline because that was a lot of side questing. <laughs> On the way back here, though, I would like to upgrade my ship if at all possible because, well, yeah, the up northeast section of the world is kinda difficult. So it would be pretty nice to see if I can get some extra health for our ship, let's just put it that way. Um, okay, that's already on there. Uh, I'm just looking to attach the stone parts, basically. Um, I think that is a part of it. Let's see what we've got here. Stone, attach, and just keep going through here. Ancient cannon, I do believe that is it. Um, da -da 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 -da. Pillar handrail, I think so. Um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, peaceful bridge, right? Right? I think, yeah, I think so. Um, how was I gonna go to the back? I don't know. Um, yeah, I had the stone chimney on that already. <laughs> and, 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 rock wheel attach, I believe. That is complete. So it's gonna be, I ain't got all day. Well, I'm done here. <laughs> but God, good eye, your ship's stamina is now seven. Yeah, I, I do indeed have all the parts. So, yep. I will most likely be using that for the rest of the game because I don't think I'll be getting the special gold ship parts unless I do a lot of grinding. And those are the special ship parts. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> now let's make Speed and Holland some pure metal. All right. But yeah, um, I don't think that I'd be able to get the full eight to, with the gold parts unless I do a lot of grinding because the gold parts are much more rare and yeah. Now I'm gonna go flop over to Beetle's play. Whoa, 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 I didn't touch Beetle, did I? I am going to go to Beetle here, because he has, most likely, the last upgrade that I need for my stuff besides, well, my Phantom Hourglass. Uh, he's got a bomb bag, and I would like to grab that bomb bag if at all possible. So let's see if he'll have said bomb bag before I go and sail over to the upper part of the sea. He does have it! Yes! 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 Hello. <laughs> A thousand rupees! Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes! <laughs> and I think I'm done here. Alright, so he's gonna give me my point totals. 17! And if I get silver, I'll be able to get discounts and stuff like that, but yeah. Anyway, now I can do a slight move here, and I'm not sure if that's... That's a good enough. No, I didn't think that would be good enough. I gotta do something like that. There you go. That's accurate enough for it to register. <laughs> so. So. Northeast part of the sea. Are you ready? Uh, well, I think I'll get that next. <laughs> I mean, I'm right here. <laughs> And my salvage arm is all fixed up and raring to go, so I might as well, I guess. So... Okay, I don't care about the enemy. <laughs> it's just gonna disappear when I am out of my salvaging mode anyway, so... Yeah, let's just go on down here and get ourselves a treasure. Maybe, hopefully, might be. Preferably without taking a hit, because... Well, I'm kind of tired of having to repair my salvage arm. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, 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 careful, 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 go, 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 round, oh, there it is, there it is, Ooh, we got it, heck yeah, all right, back up we go, but very slow, well, slow when we need to be, <laughs> because, no, because of those, they could pop in from anywhere, Ooh, it looks like they're gonna, oh, shoot, how did I manage to do that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, oh jeez, that was close. To sneak between those. But I am golden, and maybe I'll get a golden ship part too? Who knows? <laughs> um, golden ship parts act as like wild cards to ship parts if you don't have a full set of ship parts, so that you could potentially max out your ship part health, but you won't be able to get 8 hard health on your ship parts. It's a Sand of Hours! That's the third one! Yeah! 
but uh, I'm gonna go over this way now. <laughs> but um, as I was saying about the ship parts, the gold ones can act as like extra pieces to your, say, stone set or whatever set that you might not have all the parts to. So yeah, you can sort of use that to fill in the gaps, but the only way you'll be able to get eight on your ship is if you go and actually get all eight gold ship parts, which is extremely difficult to do because it's all randomized. Well, I shouldn't say difficult, it's very tedious to do because of all the randomization to it, but, well, I'll, I, I mean, the, I've showed you multiple ways to get um, unlimited ship parts already, so you can go after that if you'd like to, but I'm pretty content with my seven hearts right now, in all honesty. Anyway, now, um, I'm going over to this island because I'd like to show you something first. I can't actually go to said island because of said twister, but I will attempt to go to said island anyway because it's gonna be fun. <laughs> so let's just see... What happens? And it poops me back over here. So it puts me back on the right track anyway. Wow, I'm dizzy. That cyclone <laughs> clearly isn't letting us anywhere near that island. Ah, well, maybe we should search this area for clues, Link. Hop to! I really wish that you could start developing the NC for these things. Well, t the tornado is there, so... Yeah, well, oh, shoot. Oh, Gyorg is roaming around me. Um, Gyorg there... I didn't really give a full introduction to those duders, did I? But what you can do is jump over them as they're coming at you, and you can also shoot at them when they're out of the water partially. Oh, but it's kind of difficult to do so. So they're a pretty dangerous little critter uh, to encounter across the seas, but not as dangerous as the pirate ships. So just relax, have a good time, and uh oh, oh, eyes, you guys have got to go. You will not stare me down anytime soon with my cannon skills. Actually, these are probably one of the easiest enemies in the game to deal with. Besides the flying fish, oh geez, pirate ships. They always seem to hang around the entrance to this island right here. So you might have to deal with them. And this is... Oh, no you don't! <laughs> I'm just gonna look out for their shots and try and block them with my own shots. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, oh, no! Woo, this is why I wanted to upgrade my ship's health, if at all possible. Because there's a lot of pirate ships around these waters. And, okay, we're saved. <laughs> Woohoo! Now, I think this island is going to be a two-parter. Yeah, normally I do the islands in one part, but no, 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 this is, this is actually going to be a two-parter, I think, because it's, it's kind of long to get through. And by the way, those flickering lines that you see between graphics, uh, that does happen on the actual system too, by the way, so it's not really an emulation error entirely. Seems deserter for now, but this place wasn't always empty. I wonder if there is some secret hidden in here somewhere. How about you, kid? What are you doing? I'll be fixing the ship. Uh, uh really? Go and find yourself some adventure on the island. <laughs> Wait, the, mm -mm, uh, I think, was I supposed to be talking as the Celia voice there or something? I don't know, something like... Something feels off about what I read there in his voice. Ah, oh, forget it. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> Alright, let's just see here. And I like how there's a mailbox on this island, even though there's there's no one living here on this island. <laughs> it's just, just there to be there. Hello there. Is this a Wayfarer's place? We're about to see, huh? The Journal of the Esteemed Explorer McNay. Normally on a map, up is north, down is south, right is east, and left is west. But looking at a map today, I discovered the secret of this island. This island is shaped like the profile of someone wearing a crown. See the eye, the mouth, crown here. Yeah, yeah, yep. He's looking east, and if you look closely, you can see his eye and mouth. I'm betting that there is a big secret about the Cobble Kingdom hidden here. I still haven't found the treasure that is supposed to be in this room. Tomorrow I'm planning to go to the temple at the northeastern corner. It's time to prove what I wrote in the article for the Explorer's Compass. This, there is a supposedly to be some absurdly cryptic puzzle or trick there. But with my keen Explorer sense, I should have have it solved before lunch. <laughs> I will he sounds like lineback. I'll find the Aquanine and show them all. Ooh. Aquanine? Do you think the pure metal is on this island? Well, it's worth looking. Hey, there's a bunch of books around. Let's read them. So this is a secret in this room apparently somewhere. I don't remember what it was actually offhand. I might have to look into that for the future, but well, hmm, maybe there's something bombable 
here. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Explore Explorer's Compass, Riddle of the Lost Ancient Civilization, Volume 1, Riddle of the Cobble Kingdom Civilization. In seas ruled by the Ocean King, the cultured Cobble Kingdom sort of all. It was more glorious than any other city until it vanished from history. Ruled by the king and his four knights, the temple once held a great treasure. Hmm. We got... Part 2. Hidden Treasures the Aquanine. Three great treasures are hidden around these seas. One is Aquanine. Legend has it that there is but one of each of these pure metals in the world. Legend also says that one of the pure metals is kept in the Cobble Kingdom. You know, I kind of find it hard to believe that there's only one of those pure metals in the world. Because, you know, nature kind of makes the metal on it. Ah, forget it. <laughs> Volume 3. Where did the Island of Dreams go? Some say there is treasure in the Cobble Kingdom, but no one has seen the island. Only the ancient legend remains. Some say it is an island of dreams. Proof must be found on the Isle of Dead to reach the Cobble Kingdom. And finally... Uh, da -da. And there's an, uh, in the area of ocean near the Cobble Kingdom, there's an uncharted isle. Wonders are commonplace in this kingdom of dreams. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else to check there. So, yeah, there's apparently some secret in this room, but I don't really know what the secret is, in all honesty. I don't really remember. <laughs> oh, is that really it? I Well, I mean, maybe it is. It could be. Oh, no, those are... Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Those are Rupors, and I'm supposed to get through that without actually touching them. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Ooh. Aha. Oh, that's a big Rupor right at the corner there, of course. Yeah, I, I can't believe I forgot about that secret, but I, I don't know, I just felt the need to check that wall, just because it seemed like something that could be bombed because it was such a flat wall. Oh, I missed. Oh, 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 you are a squirmy fellow. And what about you there? Can I hit you from a distance? Maybe, because I don't want you to bump me into any Rupors. Come on, man. <laughs> there we go. All right, now, this maze of Rupors. It is something you got to trivial. Oh, no! No! I mean, I guess I could run through this place if I wanted to really quick, but I wouldn't recommend it. I can't believe I forgot the entrance to this place. It's just so obvious now that I think about it, because it's got a flat wall. <laughs> and a flat wall that can conceal a hole. That is usually the thing. <laughs> and now... Courage Jam! Heck yeah! Oh yeah! Treasure Map 2! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And another ship part! Heck yeah! Now there's, if I recall correctly, a very easy way back through here. Yeah, you just go flip-flop through here, and unless you want to go grab all the root ores, if you're feeling like you want to collect everything in the game, well, you can go ahead and collect those root ores if you'd like to, but I don't recommend it! <laughs> you know they're there! You know they are there! Alright, so this part of the island... Now, yeah, we got those, and this is actually probably a safer way to deal with the, yeah. Uh, now, if you get sucked in by these, you'll actually lose rupees instead of your regular uh, shield loss from a regular one. But if you kill them off, you'll be able to get what rupee they're carrying at the end of their rupee antenna like-like. I mean, rupee like-like antenna, and your rupees that you've lost. Well, hopefully. And also beware of Staphos on this island. Uh, yeah, easiest way to deal with them, probably also to shoot them with the bow, because they're just going to keep bouncing away from you. And yeah, <laughs> there's also a more aggressive variety of warrior staffos of a red variety, but I don't think you see those until the dungeon, if I recall correctly, so I don't know why I even mentioned them ahead of time, but... <laughs> Anyway, here's the rest of the six sages to whom the way to the temple is known. Those who do not know will never pass the Phantom Corridor. Hmm. 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 By the way, none of these seem to be talkative. It's not like the ones at the Temple of the Ocean King. <laughs> Oop. Oh, oh, mm, mm, yeah. mm, no. You. Don't. You. Oh, stinker. That's why it's safer to shoot at them with the bow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aha. Now. Uh, actually, maybe I should go over here first to show you something. Um, there is seemingly nothing over here. Well, there is, I guess, a rupee glycolite, but that's not all that important. So, oh! 
What is important though is that you kind of take note of this area in general in the future. Just saying, just saying. And now I'm going to go. Yeah. I am going to go in here. This pyramid of doom here. And that. Well. After a little more exploration, I guess. I'm going to go in this pyramid of doom here in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.